Humans have been practicing navigation for thousands of years. Using the sun, moon, stars, and later, the sextant. GPS was an advancement of the 20th century made possible by space-age technology. This technology has been used globally throughout history. The launch of Russia's Sputnik I satellite in 1957 ushered in the possibility of geolocation capabilities, and soon after, the U.S. Department of Defense began using it for submarine navigation. In 1983, the U.S. government made GPS publicly available, but still kept control of the available data. It wasn't until 2000 that companies and the general public gained full access to the use of GPS, eventually paving the way for greater GPS advancement. The Global Positioning System GPS, is a satellite navigation system with global coverage. As of 2020, there are two fully operational global navigation satellite systems. The U.S. Navigation Signal Timing and Ranging Navstar, GPS and Russia's Global Navigation Satellite System GLONASS. The Navstar GPS consists of 32 satellites owned by the U.S. and is the best known and most widely utilized satellite system. Russia's GLONASS consists of 24 operational satellites with three remaining as spares or in testing. GPS is a system of navigation satellites circling Earth. We know where they are because they constantly send out signals. A GPS receiver in your phone listens for these signals. Once the receiver calculates its distance from four or more GPS satellites, it can figure out where you are. Today, all we need is a simple handheld GPS receiver to figure out exactly where we are anywhere in the world. But we still need objects high in the sky to figure out where we are and how we get to other places. Instead of stars, we use satellites. Over 30-plus navigation satellites are zipping around high above Earth. These satellites can tell us exactly where we are. GPS is a system. It's made up of three parts, satellites, ground stations, and receivers. Satellites act like the stars in constellations, we know where they are supposed to be at any given time. The ground stations use radar to make sure they are actually where we think they are. A receiver, like you might find in your phone or in your parents' car, is constantly listening for a signal from these satellites. The receiver figures out how far away they are from some of them. Once the receiver calculates its distance from four or more satellites, it knows exactly where you are. Presto! From miles up in space your location on the ground can be determined with incredible precision. They can usually determine where you are within a few yards of your actual location. More high-tech receivers, though, can figure out where you are to within a few inches. The ancient sailors of history would be flabbergasted by the speed and ease of pinpointing your location today. Other countries are also racing to catch up. The EU, for example, made Galileo, China built the Beidou Navigation Satellite System. Japan and India are also well on their way with their own regional systems. The Quasi-Zenith Satellite System QZSS, and the Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System IRNSS. Some of the countries like Pakistan, closely aligned with China, are using the BDS. The main advantage of having your own system is the security of access, in the sense that you are not relying on another country to provide it. Countries continue to build and make improvements to their GPS systems. Efforts worldwide are being made to increase accuracy and improve reliability and GPS capabilities. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like share and subscribe for more videos.